Welcome to the Pedisco video tutorial on troubleshooting techniques. This tutorial supports our MYOB practice sets written for students studying computerized accounting systems. Our online virtual tutor sets include automatic grading, ongoing feedback, and algorithmic values to ensure each student has a unique practice set. Just like this unique video tutorial, we also offer some practice sets for free. For more information, more videos just like this, and detailed instructions on using MYOB, visit our Learning Centre at pedisco.com.au forward slash MYOB. In this tutorial you will learn about different error correction techniques, finding a transaction in MYOB, and editing an incorrect transaction in MYOB. You'll find these skills useful if you make errors when recording transactions in MYOB and need to fix them. For a more comprehensive treatment of this command centre, explore our MYOB Learning Centre at pedisco.com.au slash MYOB Learning. Let's begin with the first of these, different error correction techniques. MYOB provides two ways to edit a transaction. The first is to record a reversing transaction, and the second is to modify the original transaction. We'll consider both of these in turn and start with the first approach, reversing a transaction. Meet Chris. Chris has a transaction. But there is a problem. It's the wrong transaction. To reverse this transaction, Chris must construct a transaction that is the exact opposite. These two transactions work together to exactly cancel each other out. This leaves the situation clear to bring in the correct transaction. Notice when reversing a transaction and entering the correct transaction, there are actually three components. The original transaction, an exact opposite transaction that cancels it out, and the final correct transaction. All three components will forever exist in the accounts. Now that we've covered the first approach, let's look at the second approach, modifying the original transaction. Here is Chris and the wrong transaction again. This time, Chris is going to make changes directly to this wrong transaction in order to correct it. Once the changes are made, the transaction is now correct. Notice, when modifying the original transaction, there is only ever one component being the single transaction itself. That one transaction changes its character during the editing process. So which approach to correcting errors should be used? Well, it really depends on the importance of keeping audit trails to your organisation. If you are completing the Pedisco practice set, we will adopt the second and easier approach, which is modifying a transaction directly. In order to edit your transactions, you need to be able to change them in MYOB. To do this, go to the Setup menu and choose Preferences. In the Preferences window, click the Security tab and untick the line that says Transactions can't be changed, they must be reversed. Click OK to exit. Now how might the ability to find and edit transactions be useful in practice? Let's consider the Pedisco MYOB practice set. In the example before you, the student completing this practice set has learnt that they have incorrectly recorded a credit sale transaction to Radio Hut on the 19th of January. Instead of entering 10 small cooler filters and a $50 cash receipt, they have entered 8 small cooler filters and a $20 cash receipt from a previous transaction. The first step in correcting this error is to find it. Let's learn how to find a transaction in MYOB. The problem we are trying to find relates to a sales invoice. MYOB provides two ways to find a sales transaction. This can be found by using the sales register or the find transactions window. So how can we use the sales register to find a transaction? The sales register can be accessed from the sales command center and it lets you view sales-related documents by date. 
Now the credit sale transaction that we want to find involves a customer called Radio Hut and it was recorded on the 19th of January. To search for this customer, click the Open Invoices tab, select Customer in the Search By field and then type Radio Hut in the field that appears next to it. This field is not case sensitive so you can put a lowercase r if you want to. Alternatively, just click the down arrow icon to select Radio Hut from the MYOB list. You can also narrow your search by entering the date range. To view the transaction that occurred on the 19th of January, click the zoom arrow next to it to view the transaction in detail or just double click that line item. Please remember that our current goal is to learn how to find transactions in MYOB. As an alternate approach to the sales register, if you want to conduct a more comprehensive search, you can use the Find Transactions window, which can be accessed from any command centre. This is the approach that we are going to follow for the rest of the video. To open this window, click Find Transactions, or just press Ctrl and Y. You can use Find Transactions to search for transactions by account, card, item, invoice, bill, and so on. Let's search for a sales invoice that relates to Radio Hut by using the Card tab. Remember that the credit sale transaction that we want to fix involves Radio Hut and was recorded on the 19th of January. To search for the incorrect invoice, type Radio Hut in the Search By field. Next, press Enter and input the appropriate date range. To view the sales invoice in question, click the zoom arrow to view it in detail. So we have successfully found the incorrect invoice in MYOB. Now that we've covered finding a transaction in MYOB, let's learn how to edit the incorrect transaction that we have located. First, open the 19th of January invoice in MYOB. Remember, Unlike the incorrect figures shown here, the business has actually sold 10 small cooler filters to this customer and received a $50 part payment at the time of sale. To fix the number of items sold, type the correct amount in the ship column and click OK to record it. You'll notice that the amount recorded in the transaction is updated as a result of correcting the number of items sold. We have now fixed the first problem that the student has in their MYOB practice set. Let's move on to the second problem and fix the customer payment. Before we start, let me give you a hint. MYOB does not allow users to edit a customer payment or a supplier payment directly. Such transactions must be deleted or reversed. Since we are not using the reversing approach, we first need to delete the incorrect cash payment from the MYOB file and then enter the correct payment. To learn more about those steps, go to our Learning Centre. Here you can find detailed instructions on how to modify a cash payment and other items on a partly paid invoice. So that's a quick overview of the editing a transaction process. We have now come to the end of our tutorial on troubleshooting techniques. You will find that we have covered different error correction techniques, finding a transaction in MYOB, and editing an incorrect transaction in MYOB. Now it's up to you. If you're doing the MYOB electronics practice set, good luck with your assignment.